Welcome to Real Civil YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how to apply the temperature load on it and how to uh, validate the results. Okay, so uh, we have one question with us. I will first read the question, then I will tell you how to model the question. Okay, so the given data is we have length of rod 2 meter. We have initial temperature 10 degree uh, and final uh, temperature is 80 degree. We have given the modulus of elasticity E 10 raise to 5 Newton per mm square whereas coefficient of thermal expansion alpha is 0 0.000012. So uh, this is a fixed beam. And the length of beam is 2 meter. The material properties are and thermal properties are given here. So we have to model this in our in our ETAP software. Then I will show you the manual results and the results given by the ETAP. Okay. So uh, open the ETAP. Now go to edit. Edit storage and grid system. Here go to modify show grid system okay and keep here display grid data as a spacing so we have 2 meter beam okay so I will make here a 2 meter and here uh, I don't want anything in my direction okay so I will keep it uh, 0 and next direction it should be then click on OK. Now here I will select the elevation. I will go with one number elevation. Okay. Uh, I will keep it 3D here and for this I will go with the elevation 1. Okay. Uh, now First of all, we will go and define one material. So add new material. Here, uh, we will go with the rebar. Okay. Or you can go with any material because ultimately you are going to change it. Right. I will modify the property here. What I need to modify is my E should be 10 raise to 5 Newton per mm square and my alpha should be 0 0.000012. So I will change it. Okay, I will give uh, like a new material. It's not M30 like anything. So here modulus of elasticity is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the thermal expansion uh, is 4 times 0 and 1, 2. So here thermal coefficient of thermal expansion here we need to change 0 0.123412 1, and you can click on OK. You can click on OK. Now let's go and define one section. OK. Now here uh, you can define any section because ultimately we are not considering the self-weight. So beam 230 by 230. Here I will select that new material. Okay. And I will keep it 230 by 230 here. Now click on OK. Click on OK again. Now here in the load cases, uh, sorry, in load patterns, here I will create one, one case, superimposed a dead load and I will give super dead and I will add this case. Just because I don't want the self wet multiplier to be 1 because I want that ETAP should not consider the self wet. Okay, now let's draw the beam. 
okay uh, for that before that we have to select the property and now yes our beam is drawn now we know that in the given there are two supports and those supports are fixed so select the nodes and go with assign joint and restraints here we have to select fixed click on apply ok now select the beam now we will apply the temperature load as it is a frame and temperature here we will consider the SDL case and if you see here initial temperature is 10 degree and final temperature is 80 degree so we will give 70 degree here the difference and then we will click on apply and then ok now I will analyze before that I will set only SDL case other case I will not going to run okay now I am analyzing the model for checking the results uh, here here you can see temperature stresses is equal to the formula is alpha te where alpha is given t is temperature difference and e is 10 raised to 5 so our answer should be 84.84 newton per mm square let's check what e tab has given us okay so uh, here we can go with display forces stresses diagram uh, and here by default it is sdl case now he, you can click on axial force and you can click on apply and ok right uh, we are not getting the values so click this option So here if you see the axial force is 4443.6 ok so I will show you the calculation ok ETAB in ETAB uh, we have find we have taken the axial force and that axial force is double four forty three point six okay and that unit here you can see it is in kilonewton okay it is in kilonewton now here uh, we have the stress right we have the stress value now we know that stress is equal to force upon area right so here we have force 4443.6 i will convert this into newton divided by our area is 230 by 230 Okay, so let's do this calculation on our calculator. So it is four 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 three six zero zero divided by two thirty divided by two thirty. So here you can see we are getting the stress eighty four and newton per mm square because we have converted this to newton and these units are in mm 
okay so we are getting same result by manual method as well as from software now in second problem i will show you uh, this is the beam and uh, and in this problem we are keeping this n free and we will check the displacement of the or elongation of this rod because of heating okay so for that we have to model our problem okay i think first problem is clear uh, now i will just unlock this model okay and as i told you i am going to remove this support so assign joint restrain i will keep it free apply okay now we don't have any support here now let's go and analyze run now now we will see because of that temperature how long or how much is the elongation okay here you can see beam is elongated but how much first i will tell you manually the free expansion is given by alpha tl alpha is given t is temperature difference and l is the length of the rod so we are getting the answer 0.00168 meter or 1.68 mm so let's check now question is how to check okay so we can go to display we can go to show tables okay then uh, we can go to elements output or uh, just a minute yes joint output in joint output uh, you have to go to the displacement and joint displacement you have to click and then you have to click on okay so one table will come now our first joint is fixed okay that's why we are getting zero everywhere but our second joint means our this joint particularly is free and we have heated it uh, so here you can see in x direction we are getting 1.68 mm okay this answer and by manually uh, we are also getting 1.68 mm so this is how uh, you can check the results of temperature stresses as well as the expansion of the free end okay so that's it from my end if you have any doubt you can comment i will surely reply please like share subscribe the real civil youtube channel thank you thank you so much